Maine's video log. This is Naomi Takeuchi. I'm here at The Animal in Morrisville, North Carolina. I'm here with Dan Richards and Talena Chavis, who are the executive director and I'm sorry, what's your marketing director. marketing director of The Animal here. And this is a very interesting business model. Dan here actually sat through one of my elements of the business plan class through the Duke certificate program and it's great to see that your business plan has now come to fruition and how did you come here to the mall? Um, well actually the idea was proposed by two women in the local rescue groups uh -huh. and um, they got the mall to agree to it and then they contacted all the local rescues to see if anybody would set it up and run it and uh, so that's what um, Tony and I did uh, we set it up the incorporation 51c3 and the business plan we got it going and what's great about this is this is a non-profit organization and we just had the golden retriever rescue group here and Talina maybe you can tell us a little bit about how you bring in some of these rescue groups to um, introduce them to folks here at the mall well the basic idea that we want to give is sort of an alternative to typical pet shops and also shelters um, Pets, uh, pet shops, people coming in already have pets. They're usually coming in to just get merchandise. Um, and shelters just don't really have the resources to showcase the pets. So what we want to do is serve as a resource for local rescues and shelters to bring their animals into an environment that's very friendly and open. And there's a lot of rescue in North Carolina. There's a lot of breed specific rescue. Um, for instance, school retriever rescue. They deal strictly with the rescue of stray, abandoned, and golden, res the golden retrievers that have shown up at shelters. And what we do is have those rescues come in for different shifts on the weekend and showcase those adoptable animals with the idea of getting them more awareness and hopefully finding forever homes. And if you're wondering who this little guy is, this is Logan. He is a Pembroke Welsh Corgi and I adopted him through a rescue group. So you have breed specific rescue groups as well that come in through here. And they also have some exotic pets too and you had a ferret group that's coming in this afternoon and you also had talked about the uh, bearded dragon and we'll show you a close-up of the bearded dragon later so tell us a little bit about maybe for reptile um, groups as far as what they might do to, to bring some of their pets in um it's always great when reptile groups can come in because that's um most of the exotic animals not even just reptiles but um small mammals like guinea pigs rabbits people don't even think about that these animals show up and rescue and they show up in shelter so what we try to do is just get the awareness out there that you can find these animals in rescues you don't necessarily have to go to a pet shop you don't necessarily have to go to a breeder if you're looking for say a bearded dragon or a leopard gecko or a welsh corgi um, the best thing for people looking for reptiles is to go on Pet Finder when you're looking for something specific. Check the internet. And we are also working with local groups. Like there is actually Triangle Iguana Group. They have tons of iguanas. So if you ever wanted to get an iguana, you can contact them. And we work with the reptile rescues the same way we do with mammal rescues. Uh, we give them specific shifts to come in um, and bring the reptiles to showcase, basically try to get them home. And you mentioned pet finders, and actually that's how I found Logan, too, is that I was looking for a Pembroke Welsh Corgi, and I found him in Texas. And the other thing that's great about rescues is that they get a chance to actually determine the personality of the dog as well and the different pets. So if you're really interested in helping these different organizations, go through Pet Finder, find a rescue group. And also, if you want to come to the animal here, one of the best things also is that you have merchandise for sale. Yes. And you also do that on consignment for some of these organizations. So if there was an organization who wanted to put something on consignment, how would they do that to the organization? Um, well, actually, the merchandise sales have really been one of our best things here at Animal. That's actually how we get our funding. Uh, we have very little funding through private donations or grants. We're almost fully funded off of our merchandise sales. Um, for consignment, we do. When we talk with the local, local rescues, local shelters, and they bring in what they want to sell, we go through it, and um, we put it up for sale in the store. And at the end of the month, I write them a check for a, and for a large percentage of their sale, we take a little bit just to cover right. for your, our expenses, overhead, credit card, so, right. um, mainly credit card expenses, and at the end of the month we write them a check. Um, some rescues, every couple months get a check for um, for six or seven hundred dollars for the stuff wow. they sell. So it's a 
that's some really nice extra yeah. revenue for restaurants. So, so even if you don't have a pet, if you know somebody who has a pet, you can come shop here and you're helping rescue organizations and the animal. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much, Dan thank and you. Selena. Really appreciate it. And make sure you go out and support your local rescue groups. We'll see you again soon. Bye. If you're looking for a furry or scaled friend like Yvonne, who's a bearded dragon here, the best place resource for pets is PetFinder.com, which we actually have a module to PetFinder on our website, animal.org. You can also see the adoption schedule on our website.